Hey you guys, welcome to BMG Drive. This is Crash Doctor TV. And we have a torture test number three, episode three, with uh, the famous DeLorean DMC-12. And uh, we have the US spec version. If you notice, it kind of sits higher. Uh, in the configuration, the Euro spec definitely sits lower. So I picked the US spec. Uh, give us that little extra ground clearance. It's obviously bone stock. And rear engine, rear wheel drive, manual. Let's go ahead and reset our timer or our distance meter rather and uh, you know the drill we just go around this brutal figure eight here and see if we can cover the most distance and this is episode three so we'll show the results at the end compared to the first two vehicles which was a Legrand and a cargo van so without further ado let's go ahead and get her going these are always fun this car is not crazy heavy but I mean it's kind of got this solid feel about it which uh, might I don't know my play gets reliability on these jumps I'm not really sure feels a little slidey <laughs> see ah that was a brutal first jump uh, yeah that was pretty bad compared to our other vehicles <laughs> and we already have <laughs> the wheels leaning in oh that's not good and those are our drive wheels so that's gonna that's gonna play a factor here that's why this test is fun because some cars can last a really long time and some are just done quite early and not to talk bad about this car, it's, it's, it's fun and it's great, but for this test, this isn't the best. It's very heavy in the back and as you saw in that first jump, it's just kind of a matter of time before it's going to split apart. I can't believe our wheels are sitting like that. Oh, it's very unstable too. I mean, uh, understandably. Super bumpy in this section. We'll get it down here so we can get some speed going. We don't want to limp around the whole thing. Oh, if I can just stay lined up. Ooh. Yeah. I can tell you right off the bat that this is not going to be our uh, all-time winner. Not not anyway. Ooh. Not that I think anyway. But you never know. I mean, that's why these are fun. Some start out rough and end up soldiering through, so. Now we can even reach third gear. That's a good sign. Kind of getting used to the bad handling. And we are over. Over into a tree. That is not good. Uh-oh. That's just how the cookie crumbles. All right, let's free it up as lightly as we can. Oh, that does not look good. Let's fire it up. And we have pretty, uh, pretty bad damage. Oh, no. We're at 1.8 miles, which is not, <laughs> not much. All right, guys. Well, that is let's get real. That is not very uh, drivable. So we're gonna call it quits there. We'll give it that extra tenth uh, for the attempt there. 1.9 miles for the DeLorean. That was rough. Very fun car, but clearly the ultimate torture test is not its strong point. So. Yes, this is a multiple car episode. Let's move on to the next. Okay, and we are back. We're sticking with the 80s theme. We have a uh, nice ETK i-series. Uh, this is a mid-trim, so we, we vouched for the all-wheel drive. And it is the four-cylinder, so uh, not a crazy high level, but not a base m model either. I figured the all-wheel drive might help us a little bit on these dirt turns with some traction. And uh, it is an automatic. So let's go ahead and restart our distance meter here if it'll let us 
Oh, it's just a few inches. All right, here we go. And uh, it's not a not a tall order to go after the DeLorean, as you saw that it fared well. Quite frankly, not the best. Nice easy jump, first jump for the I series. So, which of the old '80s cars in this episode will reign supreme? We will see. Okay, pretty clean, about as clean as you can get anyway. First couple jumps for the I-Series. This car is very balanced. It's rear wheel drive. Well, rear wheel drive based, I should say. Like I said, this model is all wheel drive. And uh, I think this might do better. Uh, for sure better than the DeLorean, but this might be, for our short list so far, this might be near the top because, oh, Unless you have landings like that, see? Oh, okay, okay, hold on. Ooh, that tree. Oh, we hit the tree right at the end, and it kind of, if you look straight on, yeah, it bent us up a little bit, our alignment here. Ooh, and we got a wheel bowed in. Dang it. All right, we're going to keep going, obviously. Ooh, of course it feels a little, a little strained now. I was gonna say that I think this car is gonna do well, and if you vouch for those first three jumps, it would, and it, and it will. I mean, this car is pretty decent for what it is, and pretty balanced. But, that last jump that we just flipped over on is the most dangerous jump of the course, and that's why it is a torture test. You don't want it to be too easy. So these first two jumps, you can usually survive other than that bunny hop effect you get there which is, can be dangerous but yeah that last jump coming up uh, right here this one is dangerous you get a lot of speed and you get a lot of air and if you rebound wrong you're into the tree so it proves very dangerous and you see that the track juts over to the right too that's what makes it hard as well oh okay so we survived though and we're back on track we do have a little bit of damage on the I-Series here. Uh, but you know what, other than compensating for some steering misalignment, I'm not having too much trouble driving it. And the all-wheel drive, ooh, is a nice feature because it keeps us pretty planted and uh, predictable with the, with the throttle, so. Oh, dang. Ooh, okay, see? Oh, <laughs> see, I had to apply some brake there. You gotta watch those bunny hops, I call them. The, uh, where it hits after the landing and bounces high up in the air. That, that can be real dangerous. And here's the bad jump. Okay, not bad, not bad. Oh. Okay, our alignment. Let me take a peek here, if I may. Oh yeah, our alignment's real bad, especially on this driver front. Oh, that wheel is, is really messed up. Okay. That is um, really forcing the car to the right, so I'm having to heavily counter steer just to keep us straight here. That is affecting our speed as well. Okay, okay, rough landing, but we're good. Drivetrain seems to be all right, though. Exhaust is still on. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, we definitely beat the DeLorean, like, a long time ago. <laughs> We've already almost doubled that. Oh, I'm getting pulled to the right. Oh, I'm sorry. Stupid menu comes up when I, uh hit that button too hard oh oh okay we spun out that's okay shouldn't be bad okay okay we're still on track and the i series is doing all right other than this very bad alignment <laughs> we are doing quite okay Let's 
it's very, very balanced, and uh, that's a good thing on a test like this. That DeLorean was rough. <laughs> okay, we hit that jump sideways. Oh, we rolled. Oh, okay, that was scary. Um, you know what? For a roll, that was about as clean as you can get, if that makes any sense. I do notice that our temperature on our gauge to the bottom right is a little bit above normal operating temp so we're not overheating but it's running a little toasty so we're gonna have to keep an eye on that I don't believe the radiator is leaking yet but you just never know Ooh. but yes we did flip over didn't seem to do catastrophic damage oh oh again with this alignment issue is gonna happen now it's so hard to keep this car straight and uh, it likes to get temperamental when you hit a jump even at at any of a steering angle so you start to lift off and then once you land you land kind of crooked and well all hell breaks loose like that <laughs> so that's probably gonna happen almost every time because of our steering issue now oh I almost missed that jump completely Ooh, heard something break. Probably a headlight or a window. Oh, yeah, probably our windows. I think we have one random window left. Our driver's window. <laughs> but the I-Series is holding on, that's for sure. I'm... Oh, man, I was going to say, I'm almost missing this jump. Okay, oh, we're in park. It's the last two jumps I barely even made. <laughs> it's very hard to keep this straight. Oh, that wheel's so messed up up there. Okay, okay, we got over that one. Oh my god, we're almost off the track. That would have been something. Right into the trees, huh? <laughs> Alright, we got this one right up the middle. Good. I, that was our cleanest jump in a while. And this thing's pretty tough, I'd say, so far, right? Got that jump. Ooh, okay, okay. I can I get a sense of even though this is a you know, 80 sedan, where did our camera go? Oh my god. What was that about? I feel cheated. That is so not fair. What the hell did the camera do there? I was just panning around the car like I always do. What was that? Oh my goodness. Um, of course we're stuck. Let's get this out because I'm afraid to uh, move the camera and spawn with F7 because for some reason this game is inconsistent you know I'll spawn I'll move the camera and spawn and for some reason every once in a blue moon it will spawn a new car instead of the car we're using like this which is the whole point of F7 it spawns the car you're using but uh, especially when I'm on camera trying to do something like this it usually screws me and spawns a new one, which is not what we want. Dang it. Of course we're stuck. Alright, we're going to have to try it. If not... Oh, if not, I hate to say it, but that might be it. I don't know what that was. That is like a technical difficulty. I totally know what I'm doing with the camera. Uh, you can see on the footage I was just moving around like I've been doing the whole time. I don't know why it put our camera in the, in the trunk and made us fly off the track that's that's hope and pray here f7 here we go okay it works okay it worked wow all right we are back in the track we're gonna roll with it i am sorry to the i series that's a little bit of uh bs in my opinion but you know what it still runs at all-wheel drive <laughs> what a trooper this thing is tough as nails all right Wow, very impressive. Uh, I'm a little worried about that camera. As you can see, I'm moving all around. No issues before. I'm not sure why it did that to us. Let's 
kind of BS in my opinion. But we charge on with the I-Series. And this thing looks super mangled. And by the way, I know the turns are banked. But as you can see, that's doing it again. Why is it doing that? See, now I can scroll around. I'm not sure what that's about. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, but anyway, this thing is doing great. It's still drivable. It's not pretty. And it certainly is quite difficult to drive. But she's still going. Oh, and you know what? It's getting pretty good speed as well. This thing might be pound for pound despite what any numbers will end up saying. Just on driver feel, this might feel like our toughest car yet. Now granted, it's a very short list so far. But this is very, very durable, I feel like. Especially for a car. Because you would expect SUVs and trucks to dominate this kind of leaderboard but um, sometimes there are surprises and I think this car is definitely one of them it's very tough and stable still and who knows after that that unfortunate incident <laughs> this might end up being our winner I mean you just you just never know I mean look at the condition it's in oh that's a rough jump I would really uh, I'm rooting for this thing I would really be impressed I mean, I'm already impressed. But after a hiccup like that and an actual wreck into trees, <laughs> that would be very impressive if it was in the uh, top of the leaderboard with this much damage. I mean, this thing should be done. But it's holding on quite well. And our temperature is up there, but it's not overheating, so that's good. Maybe it just likes to run hot. Maybe it's good. Uh oh, that was an odd landing. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, okay. We'll shut the engine off. We don't want to cheat it by uh, just letting it blow. We will flip it over. All right. Let's start it up. Oh, yeah. She lives again. Look at this thing. Oh. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. This I series is great. Our 80s cars have done very well so far on this leaderboard. So uh, shout out to the 80s. I, I guess they could make some, you know, they don't always make them like they used to, right? I mean, <laughs> wow. They, uh, I think they knew what they were doing back then. This car has done very well. Our 80s Le Grand did very well. Now, granted, the 80s DeLorean did not, <laughs> but I don't think that that car is a total basket case. I think just for this particular test, it had the wrong configuration. I mean, rear engine, just the, the kind of stance that car has, and the odd weight distribution I could feel when it was in the air. It had uh, kind of everything going against it, so we're not going to knock it too hard. But yes, I think this model with all-wheel drive was a smart choice. Oh, barely made that one. We're gonna. Oh, oh no, that's a bad one. Uh oh, we're gonna shut the engine off. Oh, that was a bad wreck. That was the worst one yet. Oh goodness. All right, let's flip it over. I did get to see the red down here. Oh, I got the notification that our radiator is now leaking. It is smoking. There's the beautiful straight six under there, or a straight four, rather. My bad. Straight four. Um, okay, it started right up. That's good news. Uh, we have a lot of damage. Wow. Let's see if we can <laughs> pull our hood down a little bit. No? Oh, that's good enough. Oh, okay, let's push on. Oh, this thing is so rough. Oh, you got to give this thing credit. It is still pushing on. And look at it get up to speed. <laughs> I mean, it's not even limping along. We're going to hit 60 miles an hour again. That's very impressive. Oh, and our door is totally flung open <laughs> against the hinges there. 
our hood came back up and then thank god we're on outside view we'll just uh be okay with that for now Ooh. okay so dang it oh man we almost didn't make that i'm trying to turn it's having trouble so these jumps are going to be pretty scary now because our suspension is almost collapsed as you can see and we're we're rebounding quite hard off these jumps like that but that one was okay oh boy. but either way you're gonna lose control and dang it we are overheating as well oh i'm sorry i series coolant is overheating uh oh all right we got to push on every foot counts now keep pushing on it's only a matter of time before we lose a wheel or something or more likely we are going to overheat our piston rings are damaged now uh-oh no oh i'm feeling the loss of horsepower now oh no bueno no bueno come on old guy let's go you put up one hell of a fight that's for sure this is one of my favorite drives this thing did super well who knows I mean if we can make it to 11 miles I'd be I'd be thrilled for this thing push on push on we're losing power but it's still gaining speed and I'm missing the jump oh oh that's unfortunate I'm gonna shut it down I don't want it oh and we were back on our wheels wow fired up it fired up all right let's go 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 oh it's overheating bad <laughs> it's still gaining speed though this thing's a trooper this thing is a trooper head gasket is damaged oh goodness we hit 11 miles i consider that a win good job good job oh every tenth of a mile is just a gift at this point i have it pegged to the floor the throttle Ooh, don't think we can hit 40 miles an hour anymore. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Keep going. <laughs> it's been one hell of a run. Uh-oh, now we have some rod knock. Keep going, keep going. There it goes, it quit. Oh, dang it. And we're not going to make it up the ramp. Right there, put it in park parking brake well there you have it 11.4 miles in the etk i series all-wheel drive with the four cylinder ah let's put our gauges off and get a look at this thing definitely give credit to this thing this thing survived some bad crashes i mean this had i believe more crashes uh, you know bad crashes than any of our runs so far and it did very well so uh, yes I'd say that was a great run and uh, I'll go ahead and put the leaderboard now that we've had a few cars we will start doing this at the end of every episode so uh, stay tuned for the leaderboard and like I said hooray to that I series I think it was awesome and there are the final results so far after th three episodes the Legrand v6 the 3.3 liter with 18.5 miles that's a super strong performance and uh, that still holds the lead and our beloved etk that we just ran will be in second followed by the cargo van and then the delorean in last so tell me what you think of those results and what you would like to see next uh definitely impressed with that Legrand a while back that thing is going to be in first for a while i think uh, it's got a healthy lead. So make sure and like this video for these awesome torture tests or dislike it if you hated it. And subscribe for daily BMG content. And make sure and comment below what car you would like to see next. And uh, until next time, guys. See ya.